Okay, I want you to stretch your mind way back to the good old days. Four weeks ago, when we talked about how to set up PowerShell, and we went up to this little icon in the upper left corner of our PowerShell console, went down to Properties, and over to Font, and I asked you to change to Lucida Console. And the reason I asked you to change to Lucida Console was so that you could tell the difference between the backtick character and the single quote character. They look a bit different in this particular font. The backtick character is above your tab key. It's over there just to the left of your number one key on your keyboard. Now the backtick character has two special uses. Really they're the same thing, but they, they seem reverse of each other. What it's doing is saying to do something different with the next character after the backtick key. So the back to Kim symbol, by the way, is called the escape symbol in PowerShell. Let's take a look at our old friend here, and I'm going to make this bigger so that we can see the whole line. Um, and I have to change this back because I was doing some other things with it a moment ago. There's our old friend. Mountain Dew is made by the soda company. When we run that, we get Mountain Dews made by the Pepsi company. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and put a back tick in front of that dollar sign. That's not a single quote. Now, that's a back tick. And you notice that the color of the word soda changed. That's because PowerShell was interpreting this dollar sign with special meaning. That special meaning was to introduce a string, or I mean a, a variable. Now, with the back tick there, it says this no longer has a special meaning. It now has a regular literal meaning just like anything else. So this is no longer a variable. That's just a simple string. And if I run this line, I'll just get Mountain Dew is made by the soda company. Now notice that the back tick isn't there. There's no back tick. And that's because it is a special character now. Now it takes on a special meaning, but what if I wanted actually a back tick in my phrase? what would I do? Well, let's take this and put another back tick there. And now you'll see that the word soda changed back to this bright green. And what would I get if I ran this? Well, let's try it and see. Mountain Dew is made by the back tick Pepsi company. Now, what, what's going on here? This had special meaning. This said well, I want you to change that special meaning of this dollar sign to a regular character. But then this said, no, I want that uh, escape character to change its meaning from being an escape character to being a regular character. So this one is not being printed. This one is being printed. And since this is now just a regular character, it no longer has the escape meaning of the dollar sign character. It gets kind of confusing, doesn't it? Let's try something else. Let's go here and put a double quote, and I'm going to get rid of the back tick. Now, this is going to create a problem in PowerShell, because PowerShell is going to look at this, and it, there are, as you can see, three different sets of double quotes. But you can see that only this much of it is the string. And then this, well, it's not going to know what to do with that. So let's run it and see what happens. Oh, yeah, we got uh, we got this double quote, and then we got Soda Company, and we didn't even get, see, PowerShell doesn't know what to do with this thing. We didn't even get back to a prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click Control-C to get out of this thing. And let's go back here to what we had. Let's put our double quote there, but this time I'm going to put a back tick in front of the double quote. And now let's see what we get. Yeah, we get a double quote in front of the word Pepsi. If I wanted one after the word Pepsi as well, I would put, again, a back tick, double quote. Now, PowerShell knows that this and this are the beginning and end of the string, whereas this is no longer interpreted as the beginning or end of a string. It's now just a character. So if I run this, sure enough, I get double quotes around the word Pepsi. And, of course, I could do the same thing with single quotes if I so desire. Single quote there, single quote there. We'll run it and now we have single quotes around the word Pepsi. 
So it avoids interpreting the next character, the special meaning of the next character, dollar sign, a quote, a single quote, or the back tick itself, or even this pound sign, which we haven't really gotten into, so I'm not going to cover that one so much. But uh, that also has special meaning in PowerShell. All right, in the next video, we're going to take on the other use of back tick character, which is really the same use, but from a different uh, point of view.